I was taught that if you arrive on time, you're late. Right, right, right. But after babies, oh, baby, we're going to be late. You know what? That's we're crazy that late. you mentioned that. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Chefs React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. Yes. If you're new to us and, and we're, we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit the, the subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys. All right. Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd do a video on Irish social etiquette and our culture and customs. If you're ever visiting Ireland, hopefully some of these things will help you. If you like this kind of stuff, please give this video a like and subscribe for more. And let's get started. Yeah, so check your channel out. Going for a pint. Ireland has a big pub culture. Most of our socializing is done in pubs. And when someone says to you, are you going for a pint? They never mean, are you just going for one drink? They oh. mean kind of three drinks. And if someone oh. says, are you going for a few pints? They really mean, are you coming out for the night? Um, a good rule of thumb is to take the amount of points they're suggesting and multiply it by three. So you get a <laughs> general idea of what they're really talking about. It would be very Ooh. rare that an Irish person would go to the pub for one drink and then leave. It doesn't really happen. Yeah, and that's it, not a language we ever like. We don't pick yeah. up on that. We don't be like, everybody go hit a pint and then expect to think that we're going to be drinking all night. Like, yeah. I think that's just something we do. I don't even like, know what I would think they would be talking about going for a pint. I think these days people just like to drink at their house. Yeah. Like, they get friends together, and then they get, like, a few drinks because you're safe. You're in an environment where you're not worried. Like, you can fall asleep. You can get t t toe up. Yeah. You can do all these things. But if you go out there in Ireland, they say if you coming for a few pints, Oof. yo, y'all going to carry somebody wasted. home, bro. <laughs> Chew. And this leads to the next one, which is rounds. Usually when you go to the pub with friends, you do rounds. So one person goes up, get a rounds for everyone in the group, and then you take it in turns doing that. And it is really, really bad social etiquette to let yourself be included in a round if you're not going to stay and do your own round as well. If you're not planning mm. to stay out long, just say, oh no, I won't be included in the rounds, thanks, I'll do my own. Another thing to keep in mind with rounds is that um, if you don't want to get too drunk, maybe don't do rounds because... Yeah, you sound like you don't get messed up. What if there's like 20 people? So they each paying for the for the drinks themselves, like yeah, it's like common courtesy, you know. But twenty rounds. Yo, it's on me tonight. We doing the whole rounds. Everybody, whenever it's your turn, you gotta pay up and make sure we get. You know what I'm saying? Or is it shots? It sounds like most of like shots. Oh, okay. Hey, but they we, still getting with. Hey, we're in Ireland, so they probably got them like, yeah. Oh. They probably doing those, big. Those big jugs, huh? Yeah. Glass jugs. Mm. Oh. Mm, they probably okay. do big, big. Pace is always set by the fastest drinkers. So if you're kind of a slower drinker or can't keep up with the pace, then maybe do your own thing. Otherwise, it's going to be a very sloppy night. <laughs> Next up is, is tipping. Tipping in Ireland is at your discretion. It's not mandatory, and it's seen as a bonus for a good job done. And um, like you usually that. always tip in restaurants and okay. taxis, things like that. And it's usually 10 to 15%. And um, for food delivery, you might tip a couple of euro. And then in hotels and things, you really only tip if someone goes above and beyond. And um, I know whenever I go to America, I just feel like I'm tipping everyone for mm. everything. But in Ireland, it's not like that. It's kind of um, just seen as a bonus. Next up is running late. We're not the best timekeepers in Ireland. If you're meeting a group of friends, you're always guaranteed that someone will be running late, and it's not really a big deal. It's not that unusual for someone to be half an hour or even an hour late. And um, I was raised by a Canadian mother, so growing up, I was always the first to arrive at everything, and I'm mm. still punctual today. I like that. So it's not unusual for me to be sitting at a table for 40 minutes waiting for my friends to arrive. So I want to know in the comic section, and I also want to ask you how you guys feel about when someone is just running late, whether it's professional, like you could be on a kitty uh, date with your kids, and mm -hmm. you know, a mom's showing up or a dad, and or anything of that such. Like, how do you feel when someone is running late? Are, are you the type of person that's definitely going? Be a few minutes late. Okay, so before kids, I was always the person who was there 30 minutes early. 30 minutes. 30 minutes 30 early. Minutes. Because in college, I was taught, yes, college. Well, I can say high school. Because yeah. like, I was always like a captain of something. Okay, okay. Um, I was taught that if you arrive on time, you're late. Right, right, right. 
But after babies, oh baby, we're gonna be late. You know what? That's we're crazy that late. you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be. It's okay to be a little late. It's okay to be a little late. But I was the type to, you know, I. I always went for that leadership role, but someone is always a two steps ahead of me. So I was the one that was always late, like yeah. especially on jobs or class. Even when I was in college, like late to turning in my work. So yeah, but you, Dion is like a relaxed dude. He's like he re, he's really Jamaican. You oh know? goodness! He thinks everything's <laughs> gonna be all right. You don't I, have I try to not stress. to stress. You don't 100%. have to rush nowhere. Like, yeah, he's cool. So if we chilling <laughs> and you say you finna show up somewhere, like, and you running a little late, I'm probably expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just a more relaxed attitude towards timekeeping in Ireland. And running late, it happens all the time, and it's just not a big deal. The next one is please and thank you. The Irish are very polite, and we say please and thank you all the time to everyone. Um, but the most important person to thank is always the bus driver. You always say thank you to the bus driver or some kind of acknowledgement um, when you get off the bus, either a uh, cheers. You know, I'm glad in this day and age to hear, and she, to me she looks like she's a millennial. So I'm glad to hear that people are still talking about please and thank you, showing right. respect. Because I feel like with age, you know, sometimes we start to close up more. And I, I just don't want to grow up to be that old grumpy man who don't right. ever say anything to people. Who's you know so what I'm saying? Rude. Who's so rude all the time. So I do, like, acknowledge that people do do that, regardless of where you at in the world, to always just be nice. Like, regardless, if people say something back to you, hello, please, thank right. you. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But that's not in your nature. You what? Know, to <laughs> be a grumpy old man. Like, oh, I'm about to say, to say nature. please and thank you? No, oh, wow. like, you know, we're real cool people. You know, growing up, again, y'all know, we always, like, share our perspectives and our life experiences. But growing yeah, yeah. up in the South, like, manners is something that black parents pride themselves on having when it comes to their children. Oh, yeah. And teaching their children. So, oh yeah, manners. Yeah, 100%. Or a thanks or a good luck and um, it's a sin in Ireland to not thank the bus driver that's a very important one the next one is slagging this can be very confusing for people outside of Ireland and um, to really understand but slagging is uh, making fun of someone or being mean to someone mm. but in a loving way in a fun way because you're friends Oh, okay, friends. Um, friends. And it's usually the meaner you are, the more close a friendship you have with them. I don't like that. So um, <laughs> someone saying to a bald man, hey, baldy, is actually just nice. It's fun. Oh, okay. As then. weird as that sounds. Or um, like my friends, for example, I'm notoriously bad um, with my tea making skills. So if I ever offer someone a cup of tea, they kind of say, uh, are you making it? Or don't let her near the kettle. And I know it's just because they love me. <laughs> so it might come across as friends just being really mean to each other, but it's not meant like that. It's meant like in a nice way. I know this sounds weird. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I'm not great with um, my tea making abilities, but the next one is tea. Tea is very important. I feel like we're mm. pausing after each one, guys. She has some good Sorry. things going on. She does. That's some really and good things. we love videos like this where we can, you know, interact and we continue these conversations in the comment section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But dang, I forgot. Okay, so I was saying <laughs> that, is. that um I didn't like the like things like that. I guess because in American culture, unless you're really, really cool with somebody, know that they have your best interests of heart, know that they're not trying to, you know, just be sarcastic and really deep in their hearts they don't like you. Yeah. Say, like, you know, call, calling you baldy or something like that. <sighs> yeah. You see, America this... is just... It, mm. and, and let me tell you how you can sort through stuff like that. It's all about realizing who the people are around when they start to do call you names. Right. Because if you don't act like that when we're just together and we chilling and you don't be mean in a nice way because of the relationship and the transparency that we have. Right. Then all of a sudden I start to think twice to why you looking for laughs from other people. Mm. to boost whatever ego that you may have going yes, on. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's how you can sort through people like that. You yeah, know, you got to yeah. know how to read folk. And that's the thing. I guess, you know, I'm a person who has such a big heart. So mm. I like to, I don't be mean to people that I love. Like, I don't pick on people She's all about chances. She will give you a chance. Ugh. Oh, she will give you a chance. Ugh. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, a uh, chance. <laughs> Once you calling me baldy, I'm going to think in the back of your head, you really do think I'm bald head. Come on, man. You know? 
Um, and that's just you know just dealing with bad experiences when it yeah, comes yeah, to yeah. friendship. So, yeah. but the ir the Irish reminds me of Australians. You like I don't know I don't know. I feel like maybe because I haven't seen like you know how how Irish people behave mm -hmm. outside of just her video right, but right. i've seen how australians behave and they're Ooh, very sarcastic very, and yeah. they live life on the edge oh, like they're perfect. funny mm -hmm. i think i would take it from them and i would play along with them you it's know like it's like it's like yeah, that's dead on the nail. You're right. Yeah. Hearing it from them would be like, oh, that's normal. Yeah, I know I didn't worry about <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I don't worry about you. That's normal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What you call me? Oh, what's up, you silly? Yeah. You feel me? Like, I feel you on that. In Ireland, as soon as someone walks into your house, the first thing you do is offer them tea. If you have a workman or a gardener around and you offer them a cup of tea, if someone gets bad news, the first thing a person says is, will I make you a cup of tea? Tea makes everything better and it solves a lot of Irish people's I feel problems. That. Yeah. There's also a big debate about Lyons versus Barry's tea, which one is better. Um, that's open to interpretation, but it's a very important topic because tea is a very important part of Irish culture. The next one is... Hold on. Okay, so it looks like she has like some really good, you know categories Facts, why yeah. as americans maybe maybe this is not all of america why are we offer people water bro you read my <laughs> mind because i'm like we do the same thing but it's water yeah it's water you want some water like somebody to come over and fix something in the house bro you want bottle you water? want some water man come in heat uh mailman he's like hey i got this package for y'all it's hot outside yo bro you good you want some water you want some water like <laughs> Some water would take you a yeah. long way, for real. Yeah, and I don't remember which country it was that we was reacting to, but they was like, my grandfather is like 70 years old, and he has never had a drink of water. And I'm like, what? Oh, gosh. I, I, yeah, I thought she was going to say the man who um is their culture lifestyle to where they don't like wash their teapot. Oh, no, no, no. Not but you know what I'm talking about, Yeah, though. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Well, I don't know which country. Not it's, me it's so many countries. We love y'all all, though. <laughs> Respect, respect. Yeah. Dining etiquette. I think um, the dining etiquette in Ireland is the same, you know, the same table manners for a lot of Western countries. Things like when you're dining, you don't start your food until every single person at the table has their food in front of them. Um, you don't chew with your mouth open. You don't talk with food in your mouth. If you've got a mouthful of food, you kind of, until you're finished eating and then you speak. Um, you don't blow your nose at the table. I yeah, remember of course. someone blew their nose um, at my grandmother's house at the table and uh, she nearly had a heart attack. And it's still spoken about to this day, so mm. don't blow your nose at the table. Um, don't put your elbows on the table. You know, kind of, I think a lot of these are just kind of the standard table manners for most yeah. Western countries. The next one is sorry. Hold you on. Know, like, literally, every single category, we have something to say. Um, I was going to say, is there any Irish mug bangers? Mm. And knowing what the purpose of mug bangs are, is for, um, do, if there's Irish mug bangers that you guys know of, do they follow these same dining etiquettes? Or, I, uh, uh, boy, I, hey, I, uh, somebody get on their channel, they on their channel. Yes. And they going to do what they want, but I feel like it becomes a habit, so do they carry that habit with them whenever they're home or at a restaurant or anything like that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I think they'll forget. Yeah. <laughs> I think they'll be forgetting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> countries. The next one is sorry. In Ireland, sorry is not always an apology. It can also just mean excuse me. And so oh, yeah. if someone drops something, you want to get their attention, you say sorry. Um, but this also changes depending on the tone. If someone, you know, if you're in a queue and someone cuts you and um, skips the queue, and if you say sorry in that tone, it okay. means what the hell do you think you're doing? Um, and that leads me to my next one, which is queuing. In Ireland, queuing is observed pretty much everywhere where there's some kind of service. And it's very, very bad etiquette to skip a queue. You always join at the end of the queue. You know, I've been to some countries where um, if you queue, you will be there all day because it's not observed and people just all go to the front. It's not like that in Ireland. Queuing is very important. In bus stops, um, you know, restaurants, hotels, uh, 
shops markets all that stuff queuing is very important the only place there isn't really official queues is in pubs or bars where everyone kind of scrambles around the bar trying to get the barman's attention but at the same time there's kind of an unwritten rule that you know if you come up to the bar and the barman comes to take your order you do kind of say well he was here first or she's been here longer than right, me okay. and it'd be very very bad manners to let yourself be served before someone that was waiting there before you the next That's one respect. is yeah. go on in Ireland, if someone offers you something, the custom is to refuse it first and let them insist. Like, um, we have a glass of wine. Ah, no, I'm grand, thanks. Ah, go on. Okay, I will, thanks. Oh, that's or, um, me. Can I oh, yeah, 100%. Lift? Oh, no, I'm fine walking. Ah, go on. Okay, thanks. Uh, even if you really want something. That's just like a phone call. Like, you know, I'm going to just say, like, if I miss your call and then you don't call back until, like, a week later with the same question... You know, I just don't take it serious at that point because you could have called back. Right. You could have made that in, that that initiative push to say, hey, you know, I really was trying to talk to you. I was really trying to vibe with you. I was really trying to say hello, see how you doing. Like, if you don't make those type of pushes, then I kind of feel like, oh, it's nothing. It wasn't too, it wasn't too serious. Right, right. It reminds me, I don't know if you had this experience, but I know, well, you mm. may have. Um, like, if you're at someone's house visiting and they offer you food, you don't eat their food. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> like if not, like if you're at a sleepover, that's fine. Like as a kid, but and I guess this is just like kids. It's not adults, but um, yeah, I think that's that's left. That's but they're gonna that push that. Relate. But they're gonna push that. What like whoever's mean? serving the food, they're gonna be like, "Are you sure?" Yes, I'm sure. I can't eat your food. <laughs> Here, just <laughs> take a little bit. I'll fix you a little bit. I think that's something else. That's just not eating from people. That could be, but it still yeah. falls in the same bracket. I feel like. I don't know. It's like reaching. if you don't you really know that person. Like if you're a guest. Yeah, like if you you know just guess met a friend. friend at school. Right, right, right. You go over to their house. I guess, yeah, that's that's whole, whole other subject. <laughs> yeah, we're going down the wrong door. Yeah, as I continue thinking of it. You always do a first refusal and let the person insist. And I remember one time I was in an airport in America and I was buying a ton of sweets and magazines. And this American guy that was beside me, and we got chatting, and he said to the cashier, I'll buy all this for her. Mm. And I did the polite Irish refusal of, ah, no, 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 I'm grand, thanks. And I expected him to do the kind of, ah, no, I insist. And instead, he got so offended. He was absolutely furious. And he stormed off because I was so rude um, for blowing him off like that. And it was just wow. a really awkward situation. I was just trying wow. to do the polite thing. I would no, you wow. did right, girl, because he wasn't just trying to buy your stuff, baby. He, he shouldn't have got date. mad. He shouldn't have got mad. I mean, no, I'm glad he did get mad because she saw what type of person he was and she didn't enter into a relationship. Yeah, well, I'm just saying he shouldn't have got mad had his intentions been pure. His intentions wasn't pure. So he got mad. He wanted right. to buy her stuff because he wanted to woo her, but he showed what type of person he was. So I'm glad yeah. that happened. Was that was that good old saying? Tre believe him the first time. The first time. The first time. Dodge the bullet, go. Mm. Love for him to buy those sweets for me, but um, yeah, so it got pretty awkward. <laughs> Next up is <laughs> she's looking over her shoulder, talking to the car too, probably. First time, you usually shake hands. If you're greeting an acquaintance, it's usually a nod of the head. Um, if you're greeting a friend, it's usually for girls a hug, a kiss on the cheek. Men usually do that half hug, half handshake. But that's even if there is any physical contact because the Irish people aren't really into public displays of affection and they kind of just like to keep their distance. So a lot of the time it's just a how are you and leave it at that. And um, that leads me to my next one, which is how are you? How are you is a greeting. It's not a question. So if someone says how are you, they're not asking how are you. I'm not hearing they're it. Just greeting you so don't say oh not great today i did this and how I'm, here, I'm feeling this no one really wants to know that they're just saying how are you as hi and um, i'm not hearing how you are. i'm here hell yeah he's i'm hearing how are you <laughs> oh, i guess how she pronounced it I, I don't know uh, um i was gonna say do y'all think the irish are fake <laughs> Y'all be saying that Americans are fake for hey. asking. That sounds like how are you to it me. It does. It does. But so, it's so, it's an accent behind that one though. How are you? How are yes, how how, how are you? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, I hear it. I hear yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so are we just supposed to say how are you back, back? Yeah. as a greeting? <laughs> how are you? How are you? <laughs> 
Oh, okay, no, because this is, the, oh, yeah, this is yeah. the first country that I have heard about that actually greets and don't want a conversation. Y'all say that Americans are fake. I think it's just like, you know, public recognition. Exactly. Like, just saying, I see you. Just to let you know that you exist. Right. I feel like there's nothing wrong with greeting a stranger. And, and the thing about it, even though we have a lot of controversy going on in our country, we still greet people. Right, right. You know, like, a lot of countries looking in, they view us as this dangerous place. And we still greet people. We're still friendly, most of us are still yeah. friendly and you know there's us who have southern hospitality who would literally have a whole conversation ask about your your parents your cousins yeah and, for real you know your hey, whole life and if they want to do that type of level of conversation they're gonna straight up just start talking right they ain't gotta do all that how you doing yo come here man let me have that real quick boom 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 yeah. man, it just start flowing out yeah don't sit next to a southern grandma if you don't want to talk baby Mm -hmm. All right. But yeah, this is the first country that I've heard that really cares enough to greet. How are you? You know? <laughs> how are you? Yeah. Bond, one of two ways to how are you. You can either just say grand or not a bother, or you can say how are you back at them. See? It's not unusual for two people to say how are you, how are you, and leave it at oh. that and not answer the question. It's just a greeting. By the way, I'm saying how are you. Um, that's my husband would pronounce it how are you, and um, because he's from Dublin, I'm from Wicklow, so I'd pronounce it how are you. But um, it means the same kind it's of thing. The next one right, is right. swearing. Irish people swear a lot, and if you're not used to it, you might think they're being really rude by using that amount of profanity. But Irish people don't really consider it profanity, and um, we just swear a lot in our everyday conversations. You know, if we're really passionate or excited about something, we'll throw a few swear words in. I remember one time listening to my husband um, and his friends and they were really excited about a plan they were putting together and they were going, oh, we'll effing go here and we'll effing pick this up and then we'll effing go <laughs> here and effing do that and then effing do that. And I pointed out, do you guys realize how much you're swearing? And they were like, we were swearing? Like they yeah. hadn't even noticed it wow. because it's just part of everyday normal language. So um, yeah, don't, don't get offended and don't think it's rude if someone swears a lot at you because it's not really meant as a profanity. The next one is bye, bye, bye. Ireland is known as the land of a thousand welcomes, but we're also really good at the thousand byes. It's impossible for an Irish person to just say bye once. You know, if we're on the phone and we're ending the conversation, it's a bye, 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 bye. This <laughs> then if you're in the pub and you want to leave, you usually say bye about 10 to 15 minutes before you anticipate actually leaving because, again, you can't just say bye and leave. You have to say bye and then get sucked into another conversation, <laughs> say bye and then say, oh, by the way, did you hear this? And um, you kind of have to prepare for the real buy with a load of leading up to it. Yo, just check out our last live. People get so sucked into all the little buys that in the end they just turn and walk out of the place without saying the real goodbye because um, they, they, it's all being sucked out of them. So, um, yeah, a lot of buys in Ireland. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. The next one is waving at strangers. In Dublin or any bigger cities, this might not happen, but um, whenever you go into the country or rural areas, everyone waves at everyone when you're driving around and i didn't know this for a while so when i was younger um and everyone was waving at me in the country i just always assumed they thought i was someone else and they thought they knew me so i never waved mm. back and then one day my husband pointed out you're being so rude they're they're being nice waving uh -oh. to you and you're ignoring them and i had never known that so and i love this one i love going to the country now and waving at everyone and everyone waves back it's such a nice thing and it's not it's kind of like a wave like one finger or a few fingers off the steering wheel um other people and they do the same to you you don't do a full-on wave and um, though that that would just be weird mm -hmm. the next one is i'll let you go if you're having a conversation with someone and you want to end it the polite way to do it is to say i'll let you go or i'm um, sorry i won't keep you any longer if someone says this to you they're really saying i have to go so don't I gotta respond say, see. to that by oh no you're not keeping me i gotta say see me. and um y'all this is probably gonna blow y'all off y'all seats but we don't say that when we're <laughs> trying to get away from a conversation <laughs> When especially we if we all, especially if we <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> what we say, babe? We could be driving inside, man. I'm gonna holler at you. I got for gas. Yeah. What else? All right, I gotta go get this baby something to eat down yeah. the street. <laughs> I'm um, about to talk to you later. Yeah, I think I'm about to go to sleep. 
it could be two o'clock in the afternoon. Why do we yeah, do like, that? We do that like all the time, and it's not purposely. It's, it's basically saying, "Yo, I'm gonna be there. I'm around the block, and mm. we not down the block. No. We down the highway still." I, right. Like this. <laughs> I think we actually say that like if we then gave a few hints that hey I'm about to get off this phone you still talking yeah, all right yeah, yeah, girl yeah. let me go clean the microwave <laughs> <laughs> it's been beeping for a minute I gotta go see about it and no I've nowhere to be and just say all right thanks I'll see you but yeah I'll let you go is the nice way of getting out of somewhere where you're kind of finished with so anyway I'll let you go that's it. They are my top tips mm -hmm. for Irish social That was dope. Etiquette. That was fun. I like yes. that. More videos like that, please. Yes, it just shows definitely. like, it shows how human they are. You know what I'm saying? I like it. Yeah, yeah. We learned so much about you guys. Culture. Yeah. Um, if we have not gotten to your culture yet, check out the description box below <laughs> to send in your requests um, in the request form. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks. If you like to support the channel that way, as well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. We'll see you soon. Peace.